Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo, here to do your love reading for January 2023. Happy New Year, you guys. Hope you are all enjoying the first week of the new year. Um, yeah, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. You just go to my website, kellyannrose.com, and you can book through there. Um, yeah, you can follow me on Facebook. Also, the link is below. And uh, yeah, please be mindful. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. And thank you to everyone who has emailed me about the uh, tarot opportunity, employment opportunity. I'll get back to you guys very soon. All right, you guys. So let's get into this reading. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Please do smash that subscribe and like button. Well, I would greatly appreciate that. All right. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. What are Virgo's messages for the month of January 2023? Okay. Lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Okay, so you've got some shocking news coming in here for you, Virgo, in January. Let's see what else. What else? What is this shocking news? What is going on here for Virgo? Okay, wow. Okay, Cupid's arrows. Love is coming, Virgo. Surprise invitation or a meeting. So you're going to get some invitation from someone that is just going to shock you like a monkey. Um, this will be a huge surprise, definitely. Let me see. Hmm. Huh. Love is coming. Hmm. Oh, keys. Oh, keys on a ring. Many options, decisions. Okay. <laughs> for some of you unconventional string along one night stand hello okay but you've got a date hmm okay does that mean somebody's coming in who's trying to have like a one night thing with you i mean or string you along not necessarily but there is meeting somebody new here getting back out there dating planning setting a date you might have a fear that this person might just want like a temporary kind of thing with you um but I feel like you're gonna have some options for sure. Okay, there could be somebody coming in who, you know what, Virgo? Um, <laughs> I feel like there may be somebody coming in who also has options like you, but I don't know what it is about this person that it's just like a surprise. I feel like you don't expect somebody reaching out to you. Oh, tell us more, Virgo, what is the tea? What is this energy? Who's coming in here asking you on a date? Um, asking you to meet up with them? Let me see. Somebody making a decision, you making a decision about somebody, wondering if this person has a tremendous amount of options. Um, are you just gonna be another key on a ring for this person? Yeah, okay. So show Virgo. What is this energy? Why is energy? Okay, so you get the devil. <laughs> All right, well, that's one way to start a reading. So, okay. So, okay, so the energy around this is like obsessive. Okay, so um, I don't know who the heck this is. Someone very like crazy physically attracted to you, hopelessly attracted to you, like super crazy. Capricorn energy and Aries, okay. All right, this does not look to me like this is someone who is in a page or knight energy or even a king that somebody is showing up here very stable um in control they have a lot of self-control um let's see it could be an older man or an older woman um, depending on your age right it could be a little bit older than you let's see okay so you've got i mean this is crazy Virgo, you've got the Eight of Wands and the Sun. Okay, here's, look, Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cubs. Okay, Virgo. I mean, there's definitely a lot of like this Cupid's arrow energy coming through. This person could be coming through from a distance. Um, you might be um, somewhere in a sunny environment and they're coming to where you are or vice versa. Okay, somebody's definitely coming in with love offer romantic um this is like a um what's the word i want to use either an um, emotional romeo or um a sweet talking massage artist <laughs> 
Virgo, like it looks like a lot of passion. Someone is being very like someone's coming in to meet with love and another person's coming in for that, you know, physical uh, attraction, like a shameless flirt. You know, there's just th both of the energies are there. It's not just physical. I know some of you are like, oh, you know, you know, that kind of energy. But some of you are like, yeah. You do want to feel someone passionate about you, but someone's also, that same person is also coming in with a love offer, a romantic proposal. Like again, an invitation. This is a surprise. I, I feel like you're, maybe you know this person or just the way they come forward is completely unexpected. Like it might be like it's unexpected that it's coming from someone in particular, or it's unexpected that someone you might be feeling like, oh, I never thought this person would be interested in me or looking at this person like, hmm, this is for some of you, this is not someone that you that might be like your usual type. OK, this definitely is an energy of somebody coming in like fast, you know, very fast, very excitable um, holiday romance type of energy. Um, I don't think there's that. Well, the holidays are over. So some of you might have already connected with this person during the holiday season. Okay. Or there was some travel during the holidays that you met someone or you connected with a particular person. We have Leo energy here, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Yeah. So, I mean, Virgo, what the heck? You're definitely going to be getting a surprise. Let me see what else is going on here. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. Let's see. You might have also quite a few other options, people coming in. Okay. So I also feel I, they're telling me to tell you this is something that will culminate, right? It's it's kind of like will grow. But I also feel like this person, either they're in, um, hmm, they're in a financial sector um, or they work with properties, wills, deeds, trusts. Um, let's see, this person shows up as being maybe a bit privileged. Uh, maybe they're in a different, like a, a much higher tax bracket. This person could be extremely wealthy who's coming in. <laughs> I mean, there's so much stability showing up here by from like coming from this person but there's like this with that devil energy you know the the devil doesn't always mean like a toxic situation the devil can mean it's like bound together like you're my one and only like I'm never letting you go okay i'm never gonna let you go right like you are it for me I feel like that's the energy of this person and they want to date you or they're coming in and they want to connect with you. It's just something it's like, who me? <laughs> I don't know why I feel that way, but it's like, who me? You're interested in me? Not that you, it's, an, it's not like you think of yourself as not worthy, but I feel like it's, it's more along the lines of like, really, really? I don't even know if we're like in, there's something different. There's some kind of difference between you and this person, whatever it might be. And somebody sees this compatibility that you connect with. Okay, the fool. All right, there's a lot of like risk taking happening here. This person is taking a huge risk, definitely, but it's it's more like um, they're very spontaneous with this offer coming in. What is it? I feel like this person is crazy attracted to you or becomes crazily attracted to you in January. There's just something different about you. Like there's a tremendous amount of like physical attraction. There's so much affection, dating energy. This is great, Virgo, for you. I mean, I feel like it's, if anything, Virgo, it's definitely an ego boost. <laughs> If that's something that you're, you know, you need, I mean, or even if you don't need, I feel like you're going to like it. And, um, but you might be a little like, I don't know, suspicious about it because there's just, what is the difference between, I mean, I know there's like this wealth difference or you guys live in two very different worlds. Okay. Wow. So yeah, Virgo, I mean, this person is high status. They're showing up here. I'm just picking up like they have a huge amount of abundance and wealth. <clears throat> this person I feel like is a gift giver. 
Like you might even receive a gift from this person. Like they're very, it doesn't feel manipulative or anything like that. It just feels like this person really wants to contribute um, to a relationship. There's, there's much in the way of giving here, but I feel like this person, you know, Taurus energy, Aquarius, I feel like they are just in a higher kind of like high either high status or they're just in a much higher uh wealth bracket bracket of some sort okay so hmm there's gonna be a lot of communication in january from someone there's like an initiation this person is going to initiate they're gonna make a reach out to you okay <clears throat> about dating you know like do you want to go out for a date or do you want to do you want to start dating or would you like to like get together and I feel this feels like a singles read <laughs> okay yeah this person is super confident like they're so sure of themselves that you're going to be interested and you're going to like them and they don't care that you guys have like some kind of differences they don't okay Virgo what are you doing <laughs> Virgo, what are, Virgo's like, I'm not doing nothing. I'm just sitting on my couch eating popcorn. Virgo's like, I'm not doing anything. Somebody's showing up here, like, initially with a bloody stump. That's how I feel. This isn't like, oh, somebody coming back and they're going to, like, bring the bloody stump. No, this is someone who's showing up with it. Like, you're it for them. Okay. I, I don't... All right, let me see. What are you going to do, Virgo? What What's your energy here with this person? Because yesterday, yesterday's reading was all like, you are, are getting offers, but you are like, eh, maybe, eh, maybe, eh, maybe. And you might do that a lot with this. This might be one of those offers or the one person who's coming and making these offers. Um, yeah, what are you going to do? Look at you. You've got the five of wands. <laughs> You're going to fight back. Yeah, you're going to be like, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be a little bit on the offensive. <laughs> I don't know why, Virgo. Um, just because it feels like you're like, I don't trust this. This is too good to be true. I don't trust this. But that's something you got to work in or work out within yourself. This is a wish coming true. Some of you might have manifested this, this energy, to have this energy. And then when it arrives... I don't know, Virgo, I feel like you might want to try to reject it. Yeah, okay. All right, show me a little bit more here for Virgo. What is going on? Yeah, look, two of uh, swords. It's kind of like you're going to block this. Part. You're blocking your wishes. You're blocking the thing, the very thing that you're, you're trying to manifest here. You're like, yes, no, maybe so. I don't know, Virgo. <laughs> I mean... Nobody said you got to like jump in the in the shark tank and just swim. You can dip your toe in and try to figure out like ask yourself or ask spirit, ask the divine, is this who you you is this are you answering my prayers with this person? You know, like you got to ask that question before you jump in. Don't just make assumptions, you know. Check yourself before you wreck yourself, Virgo. It's like, okay, I've been manifesting, I've been praying for um, I've been praying to spirit, bring me someone I'm compatible with, bring me someone that's like, you know, please someone with good heart not a nice person so much as just someone who's a good person yeah i feel like you've been manifesting this but you might be like as soon as it shows up at your door you're like wait a minute this is too good to be true i don't know okay look virgo it's your confidence right spend some time trying to recognize like recognize virgo okay you're in an advantage or an advantageous position here in your life claim your reward virgo claim your reward don't run from your blessings okay yeah see the magician you have been manifesting someone to come in and you might have just been like okay i have specifically in my mind or i'm not talking about trying to like use manipulation to manifest a particular person to come into your life i feel like you've just been praying for someone to bring like spirit to bring you a blessing of some sort right and then the blessing comes in and it's like almost hard to like absorb because it 
you're doubting. You're doubting, Virgo. And you know what? Sometimes it's not really abnormal. It's kind of like when you play the lottery and then you find out you just hit the $1 million lotto and it's like a shock. It's kind of hard to be. That's what I'm talking about. This lightning card here. I mean, this is all about like shocking news. This is you're getting what you wish for. <laughs> and there's that old saying, be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. And here you are getting it, Virgo. Here you are getting it. Okay, so Gemini energy, Virgo, Leo. I mean, you'll know when you know. Pisces, Libra. Uh, is this someone from your past? I know a lot of you are sitting here like trying to be like, oh, okay, well, I hope that past person and I can reconcile and work things out. I will ask. I don't initially feel that way here as I've started the reading. This feels more like somebody new coming in, but I will ask if this is a past person for those of you. Okay. Hmm, so you've got the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Lovers. Okay, so for some of you, this is a past person, like who's coming in to try to make something work, but there was a lot of like betrayal and an ending. This is something or a relationship that you might have ended something with, someone with. Look, I, I can't even make this up. I cannot even make this up, and I'm gonna make this very clear. For those of you who are like, is this my past person? I have to show you one two three Gemini okay so if you had a Gemini person in your past that you want back uh, that you want things to work out that is that is a yes that Gemini person returning everybody else it's not a past person unless it was a Gemini okay so we're gonna stick like with that if it was a now if you don't want a Gemini back from your past doesn't mean this person isn't going to try to come in and you know reconcile with you it, it can still happen we can't control what other people do um, but you control what you have to do for others this is somebody new okay um, definitely all right let me see what else does Virgo need to know I'm feeling the need to call in the moon pie cards here Virgo what are you doing all right, we had a card flip out. Where did it go? Okay, moving to a safe place. Okay, so some of you might be relocating or moving during the month of January to a much safer environment, maybe a gated community. Um, this could just be figuratively, like you're getting yourself in a better position, uh, positioning yourself in a better, um, in a safer place in your heart, in your mind, becoming more secure right um but uh, you're also being a little bit protective of yourself okay so that's all right okay so you've got a message from an admirer virgo the cards don't lie so there's definitely somebody coming in here who is just like in complete admiration for you or with you um you're going to hear from somebody definitely expect a text message from somebody Okay. They might be telling you that they're they're moving. They or they've been in um, they've lived in an area where it's just not healthy or not conducive to growth for them. And um, I feel like they may tell you that they're moving or they're relocating as well. Okay, maybe safe place in your heart. Okay, so Virgo, your advice here is to reflect. Go into your cave for a while. You need to regroup and recollect. A lot is going on in January. You need some alone time. Stay in the stillness and the quiet, but don't get lost there. If you have to, tell people you're taking a vacation, pull out for a bit, whatever. You need a recharge, okay? You need to reflect on some stuff here, Virgo. That's your card. You've also got some family celebrations, a wedding or an engagement party to look forward to. You might get an invitation regarding that or hear about that in January and plans about that. That could also be your own. Okay, and here you go. Take a risk. What do you got to lose? Starting over can be tough, but it's time to spread your wings. Don't overthink it, Virgo. Don't overthink it. I feel like you're getting a nice surprise from someone in January that you just completely are like floored by. Like you don't expect this. Either you don't expect the message, you don't expect the contents of the message, you don't expect it to come from someone in particular. Some of you might not even be thinking about reconciling with someone and they show up some of you might not even be you might be thinking about re reconciling with someone and somebody else comes in that's like more of your fit but at the same time it's like but wait we are so different there are differences 
Right, I want to see what the messages of love are here for January. It, so when I say the differences, right, um, it could be, like I said, um, different tax brackets. You could live it. Um, there could be geographical distance. There could be um, cultural differences. There could be racial differences. There could be political belief differences. There, there could be status differences, right? It's like you're, you're not two peas in a pod, really. I feel like it's there's there's a lot of obstacles to overcome. And some of those obstacles are just in your mind. And and you know what I mean? It could be from two different worlds. And that, that might be a surprise. Okay. This could be the one, Virgo. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So for some of you, this is somebody you, you already know or you've already met them. Okay. And what do I mean? It doesn't mean it was a past relationship. For some of you, I mean, they could be like someone on your, your social media, or they could be someone that you, you knew at work, or someone that you met, like someone, you know, you just by in the passing. Okay. But yeah, this could be the one for you, Virgo. Use your discernment, though. Use your discernment. Let's see what else is going on here for you. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay. So this just is basically like, give it a shot, give it a chance, see see what this could be. Maybe for some of you, this is not someone you would even be attracted to or that you would be interested in or um, reigniting the flame in a love relationship with someone that you've lost interest in. There we go. You have a January message that's out of this world. Okay, but you deserve love. You are lovable. Remember that about yourself, Virgo. You do deserve love. Sagittarius I'm picking up for some of you. It's like, what? Okay, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life, Virgo. And that's kind of what I feel. Like, it's like a surprise. Like, wow, my gosh, I can't even believe this. You know? Um, all right, let's check out your Chinese signs. I say Chinese signs for Virgo. Okay, year of the dog, year of the pig, year of the goat, year of the rabbit, year of the rooster. Rooster's showing up almost all the time. Year, did I say tiger? Year of the tiger. Could be somebody you met last year. Year of the snake and a monkey. Wow, Virgo. Okay, if you don't know your Chinese signs, I always say Google your Chinese sign. You just have to look for the year of your birth. I want to grab a couple of different messages here now, little extra messages. I want to see if there was someone from the past that, you know, there's a reconciliation or coming back. Let's take a look at um, what their truth is or what they want to say to you, what they haven't said to you before. These are specific messages, so take them as they resonate. Okay, I wonder if you were happy without me. So you got somebody here who's like thinking about you for sure. Um, this person loves you unconditionally. I feel like this person's always been in love with you. They've always loved you. Always. Maybe they never told you that or told you that specific thing. I will wait for a sign from you. So, yeah, you've got somebody here who's waiting. You've got someone here, Virgo, from, like, your past who is waiting to hear from you anything, anything. They're looking for signs to see if you are definitely happy without them or if you've moved on um you speak to me through music okay so there might be a musical connection to this person either you know with you some some type of musical connection or there's songs that i feel like this person listens to about you or they maybe you are a musician or you write songs or you do something with music and something reminds them about you or they maybe there was lyrics sent or songs sent between the two of you okay this person wants you right now they're starting to understand the connection that you both had okay all right let's take a look and see what your other messages of love are okay so there's rejection here virgo some of you will reject Messages coming in because you're trying to protect yourself. Remember I said that? You um, 
you I feel like somebody new coming in you're you, it's like wow too good to be true I'm going to reject this because I don't deserve the love or I don't deserve this some of you might be feeling that way about yourself like I said but it you know the message was you deserve the love um you're protecting yourself definitely so you might reject somebody whether it's a past or um a new person you might just be like nah maybe nah maybe nah maybe okay but there's forgiveness forgive yourself Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. So that's always key. To forgive is not to forget, okay? But definitely you need to forgive or else you stay stuck and trapped. Okay, integrity. Does this situation align with your values and morals? Does this person align with your values and morals? So I feel like when I told you, Virgo, to use your discernment, yeah, people who come from different worlds two people will come together um it doesn't mean those things can't work out but there's a real strong inclination to find common ground okay that common ground has to be your values and morals okay that has to be the thing that causes you like it doesn't matter if you come from different parts of the world if you're in a different status you know whatever the obstacles are that stuff isn't as important as are you on the same page morally and value like values right what does this person do you both value the same things do you both live with integrity do you both have divine morals you know whatever your morals might be that is like the glue it's not so much the love but for compatibility the glue that makes the relationship grow from there So when I say give the relationship a chance, it's kind of like, okay, wow, too good to be true. I don't know if this can happen. Or this person lives 50,000 miles away from me. Or we come from different backgrounds or things like that. Okay, fine. But how can the relationship work? What are your beliefs? What is this person's beliefs? Okay, regret. There's someone here who feels remorse for the way they treated you, Virgo. Yeah. Someone's got a lot of regret. You know what? It's not even, yeah. Well, okay. Remorse and regret. Regret is a lifetime. Remorse is not. Okay, so I feel like someone does feel remorse for the way that they've treated you or treated a relationship with you. There's a chance that if they don't do something about this now, they will regret it for the rest of their lives. That's what I feel, okay? And there's also this energy of someone who is like really attracted to you, very interested in you. And they don't want to have regrets. They don't want to miss a thing. They want to be able to, like if they don't do something, they might regret not like the missed opportunity. Very important message. Okay. Some of you past life love. And I know you keep getting that in your reading. So for some, this is a past life connection or someone from your past. And I feel like I keep repeating myself in your readings. Um, Okay. Let me see if we can get some names or some energies, other names and other energies with this person, from this person. Okay. Joseph. Picking up Joseph. Okay. Somebody drinks a lot too. Okay. I also heard George. Now it's either J-O-R-G-E or Georgia or Georgian. Okay. Okay, someone is, they're either Italian or Greek. I'm feeling um, like, okay, there's someone here that they live, there's definitely a distance, a long distance. Okay, I'm also picking up someone has a very exotic look. Maybe, maybe Mediterranean or Asian. There's something very like exotic looking about this person. And it could also be you, Virgo. There's definitely a difference. Um, <laughs> I'm just here. Okay, they just told me Vladimir. 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 All right. Okay. Someone's very kinky, very kinky, charismatic and kinky, and also somebody um, likes to um, ride horses on a beach, or there, maybe there's just this image or vision that you see, or something you see, riding horses on a beach, like a coastline. 
Oh, and they just gave me those um, dandelions, you know, that you make a wish. Maybe you were doing that or you were blowing on a dandelion and made a wish on a dandelion and, and the wish is now coming true. Okay. All right. Okay. Hmm. Okay, that's a weird message. Some They said... You need to, this is so, this is corny. Somebody has like a basket or something with a ton of, um, I'm seeing umbrellas next to the door and there's somebody, there's somebody, I don't know. There. Okay, the message is you need to get rid of all those umbrellas. <laughs> That's so weird. You need to get rid, you just need one. Why do you have like 10 umbrellas? They're saying, why do you have so many umbrellas? Just get, clean that thing out. You just need one. Okay, whatever. Um, somebody also I'm hearing has um, blue suitcases. Okay, I'm also, okay. So someone is also um, African American, which is really specific um, and has like a very beautiful, full head of hair. Very beautiful, full head of hair. Okay, I heard the name, just now they just gave me the name, Mina, M-I-N-A or M-E-E-N-A, Mina. Or is it Mina? Yeah, Mina. I've never heard that name before. Mina, okay, sh um, all right, I don't know how to say this. Siobhan, I'm hearing Siobhan. Okay, Siobhan. Yeah, and I'm still getting that Vlodemore, Vlodemore. Siobhan and Vlodemore. All right, they just said, okay, watch out for Narcissus. Watch out for Narcissus. I don't know what that's about. I mean, I know what Narcissus is, but watch out for the Narcissus flowers. Hmm, okay. Um... Steve, he said, tell Steve, I said, hi, tell Steve, I said, hi, hi, Steve, spirit says hi to you, <laughs> I'm watching out for you, this is your message, Steve, okay, all right, I feel like I keep getting the same things, okay, Zach, or Zachary, Zachariah, Zach, uh, Zhu, Z H, it looks like Z H U, Zhu. Am I saying that right? Zhu. Okay. And, um, oh, carp, C A R P, carp. What does that mean? Is that like a, I don't know if that's a name or a last name, Carpinetta, or it's a, maybe it's a street name, or I know it's a type of fish. Carp, maybe it's a city or a town. Okay, so I tried to get some names there for you guys. Let me just clear this off and see if we can't get your um, your charms, and then we'll finish up the reading for you guys. Okay, let's get everything out of the way here. All right, and get some numbers. All right, Scorpio, Virgo, twice and Pisces. Okay. So, so hold on. I'm getting August 26th. Okay. And okay. Somebody's 45. Somebody's 36. Somebody lives at 211, 211. Maybe that's an address. Um, okay. November 10th, I'm picking up and November 7th. All right. Let me see other signs for Virgo. Okay, Capricorn, Taurus, Aquarius, and Aries. And one more. One more roll of the dice. Libra, Capricorn, Scorpio, twice. Okay, that might resonate for you. Okay, we have April 12th. Um, someone's born in 1967. Someone's born in 1957. Um, hmm. 
Okay, zip code 90112. All right. Um, hmm. And then they're telling me 411. Like, what's the 411? I think that represents information. So there's like someone seeking information on you right now. Okay, Virgo. Um, I'm also picking up August 27th. Let me see if I can find you your, your September birthdays. September 4th, 12th. Um, someone's born in 1972. Also September 17th. September 14th, they're just giving me. September 14th. Eight zero zero two two. Eight zero zero two two. November 3rd. Okay, September 12th. Did I say that? I can't remember. All right, interesting. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. All right, give me... Let's show Virgo some charms. Oh, you've got a butterfly. All right, Virgo. For me, right away, this just said... January looks like you're going to be like a, a huge social butterfly in January, which is great for you because I feel like you um, are getting yourself back out there. For some of you who have been in hermit mode, for others of you, um, this is just continuing on with being very social and connecting with other people. So I, I feel like also the butterfly represents transformation and change. So that is also like um, something I feel like you're going through, a, a change or transformation or a transition in your life right now, okay? Um, and you also have a rose here. So it could be the name rose or um, I'm just, now they're giving me such an old song. Every rose has its thorn. So there's something to do like maybe with the lyrics in that song. If you've ever heard that song, it's like from, when's that from? Was it the 80s, late 80s metal band? What were they called? Every rose has its thorn. I can't remember what they were called. Poison? Oh, they just gave me Snow White. They just showed me Snow White giving them a poison apple. Weird. Okay. Get another charm here. You might also be getting a rose from somebody. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Somebody lives in like a place where there's a tremendous amount of cornfields, like for miles, miles and miles and miles of cornfields, <laughs> miles. Um, so that could be anywhere. I don't know exactly where you are. And here's a horse again. Okay. There could be somebody here is also a year of the horse as well. And I, you know, I was picking up the horses on a beach, somebody riding horses somewhere or rides horses. Somebody might be a jockey or they're a jock or an athlete. Okay. Um, horses, horse, oh, I just saw Meg Ryan. Horses, horses, horses. I'm such a weirdo. Um, Virgo, I think I'm going to leave it there. I mean, just let me give you one more message. I just want to give you a moon message before I close out your reading. Um, don't forget if you guys are seasoned tarot readers or you have read before for other people, um, I am seeking, um, people to come and work with me so you can send me an email at house o virgo let me know i will respond to everybody after i generate or see how much interest is generated and then um yeah if you're also looking for tarot online tarot classes i will be starting that up soon that'll be coming soon all right let me see what's one message here for virgo and don't forget to follow me on facebook y'all communication is key open yourself up Virgo, I feel like new moon and Gemini, this Gemini energy keeps showing up. I feel like you need to communicate or you need to say something to somebody. Let me just read what the message is here specifically for this. Okay. A successful relationship usually comes down to one thing, communication. And the new moon and Gemini card is all about the start of a new cycle for communicating with the person at the center of your question. If you're wondering about someone, there's definitely communication coming in. Talking things through is the answer to whatever it is you're trying to resolve. If you can't talk to that person, you can journal about it to yourself. Emails, text messages, and all other forms of communication will also help you now. If the issue that you're concerned about 
has to do with a sibling or a neighbor, there's a new start coming, a time to wipe the slate clean and start over. This card could also suggest you've been too frivolous lately and need to get grounded again, Virgo. But most importantly, this card emphasizes the need to communicate. So your message here is to write a list of all the people you love most and see if you're prioritizing them, um, or if you should be, or not. Um, it's also a time for you to communicate, tell someone how you feel, okay? Don't be all in your head and not in your heart. Someone will be flirting with you in January, and you also need to read some more books. Like, why do I have to tell Virgo that? Virgo's, like, probably got 20 half-read books all over their house, right? <laughs> Maybe it's time for you to study. Gemini is a sign of communication and socializing, of ideas and travel and the energy around it and around this card, no matter what, is speedy, gossipy, and flirtatious. The new moon in Jennifer, Gem Jennifer? Who the heck's Jennifer? The new moon in Gemini is a wonderful time to get out and socialize. Gemini loves a chat. And there is a Gemini who wants to talk to you, Virgo. One thing to be aware of is that this card can also indicate being mentally scattered. Daily meditations will help to unscramble, unscramble crossed wires in your brain. So if that's communicating with another person or communicating with self and starting the process of journaling, um, go for it. Do it. If you have something you want to say to someone and you can't communicate with them or there's a blockage, whatever the reason, write it in a book or on a piece of paper what you want to say to that person if you could until you get it all out. You don't have to send it. Virgo, don't, if it, you know, even if you can send it, write it down for yourself first. Address that person in a personal letter, in a book, not to send. I was just thinking of like the, the notebook movie. Remember how um, Noah was writing Allie all those letters and sending them, but the mother was taking the letters and take, keeping them from her? Like Noah got through, <laughs> poor Noah. Noah got through, if you don't know the movie I'm talking about, it's, okay, I'm having a mind block. You guys know write in the comments or the chat. Um, oh, the notebook, duh. Um, Noah was writing. That's how he got through all of that. It was difficult for him, but he just kept writing. So be Noah, Virgo. Be Noah in January. <laughs> but don't send them. Unless unless maybe you need to send it. I'm, I'm not telling you what to do, what not to do, but just get it out on paper first. Okay, Virgo, love you guys. I will see you all back here tomorrow with your weekend love reading. Love ya. Bye. Bye.